Hello everyone, this is Catherine from Catherine's Granny Squares. I hope you're all well. Today you'll see I'm wearing a cow. I don't normally wear a cow indoors, but I wanted to show you this cow because I made this. I followed, I've got it down here, crocheydreams.com. I just googled crochet cows and this came up. Now the pattern, you can make it either going round your neck twice or you can make it you know, smaller, just going around your neck, which is what I did. And the reason I did that mainly was because I had one ball of this yarn, Hayfield Super Chunky. I haven't used this brand for a while, so I thought I'll buy a ball and see how I get on. It's platinum shade. And for the this pattern, I actually went up to a 10 millimeter crochet hook. And I really like the way it's come out. I love this pattern. I will be putting um, the details of that in the description box below. But it's lovely and warm. So I will be buying some more of that yarn in due course. It's got the price on it. So I can tell you exactly what it costs. £2.99. For £2.99, I've got myself a nice warm cow. As I say, I wouldn't normally wear it in the house. But I wanted to show you it today. The other thing I've been doing is Christmas tree ornaments. I don't normally make ornaments for the Christmas tree, but this is from Repeat Crafter Me, and she put this pattern on her channel, and there's more, there's one more. <laughs> I've made all these. Some are going to my son, and some are going on the tree. I really do love her pattern. Again, I should be putting the details in the description box below. And for that, I use this yarn. Again, one I haven't used. It's Signet. It's a chunky yarn, Colour Rush. And the colourway is Thunderstorm. It just appealed to me. You know, you and after a storm, you get all the nice bright sky and... I just don't know, that colour appealed to me. It reminded me of Norfolk skies. So I made those Christmas tree ornaments. I just went loopy on them. I just carried on doing them one after the other. I used that chunky yarn, but I went down to a four millimetre crochet hook. Now, if any of you have used this yarn, I'd be really grateful if you could pop a comment to say what you've used it for. I couldn't find anything that I, I was happy with making. Everything I tried, a shawl, corner to corner, it didn't matter what I tried to be honest with you, I just wasn't happy until I found this pattern and then it just worked, you know, doing the granny square Christmas tree ornaments. It worked beautifully, but if anyone's got any other suggestions or if they've made anything else with this, please, please, could you let me know? I really would appreciate it so I can, you know, use it for something else. So I've got, but going back again, but I've got this ball unused and the other ball is sitting on my couch downstairs. I've used very little of it to make those Christmas tree ornaments. Now you may see talk about the couch I'm actually not on the couch that's because my son is working from home today so I didn't want to disturb him by filming down there so this is the craft room um, today the craft room that I've still got at the moment because as you all know in the process of moving so this is my craft room at the moment so I thought I'd do my filming up here today and um, give him some peace basically to do his work on his laptop. So that is all I've really got to say today. I do want to say thank you to all the people who have become subscribers. I do appreciate that wholeheartedly. I welcome you and to my old subscribers the same. I welcome you back. So on that note I will say goodbye for now and I'll See you all soon. This is Catherine from Catherine's Granny Squares. Happy crocheting everyone!